Good morning. Uh, this is Jim St. Vincent. I'm a member of the call committee, and the call committee thought it would be a, a nice idea to provide you with a little glimpse of uh, Lake Hedge Lutheran Church so you can see a little of the inside and the outside of the building. I'm standing right now in the sanctuary, and I will let you take a peek around. This is our main sanctuary, our table. We do not have an altar, but a table and the pulpit, the cross area with the candles, the choir loft in back, and our organ, and then uh, to the side, uh, we have a grand piano back there, and the sacristy is in the back, and then uh, we have uh, the skylights above with some extra lighting, and then you'll notice uh, the sanctuary is in the shape of a cross um, with no stained glass windows, but clear windows purposely uh, so that we can see out into our community and the community can see in. This is the Monona Drive side, a busier street in Madison. This is in the back of the sanctuary uh, where we have the narthex, some seating behind uh, the glass for people that uh, have children or other uh, needs to be in back. Uh, these are the original doors that were on the outside of the church. Uh, they are creation doors that were hand carved. There's two here and two on the other side um, where we have it. This is the main entrance to the Winona Drive side. And then this is the fellowship area where we have coffee set up every Sunday, donuts, etc. Uh, once a month we have Just Bakery uh, come in and serve uh, uh, breads and other things that are for sale. Um, and they're uh, formerly incarcerated that are learning trades uh, to help us more the fellowship area. Main entrance to the parking lot side. So we do have some steps here go down, but then there's a ramp uh, that goes around the outside of the fellowship area and comes out here. That's the office complex. So we have the reception area. And you'll notice throughout, uh, we have these solar lights, solar tube lights, uh, as well as clear story windows to bring in as much natural light as we can. Uh, when we added the office addition in 2005, uh, we, we used all uh, sustainable supplies. This is just one of the offices, one of the meeting rooms off the office. And then we have the series of offices back here. And then off of this, there's a, a copy room and supply room with our mailboxes that go out to the library and our big copier and all the supplies. And kind of a break room with a small refrigerator, microwave, etc. And additional offices and an archive room at the end. And there's a separate entrance uh, here out to the parking lot. There's a large coat room, women's restroom on the other side, men's restroom over here, and then the nursery is straight ahead. That's the back side of those mailboxes that we talked about. And then there's the church uh, library. And clear story windows to provide natural light. A gas fireplace, there's a mirror image of this fireplace down in the youth room. Then again, coming off the main entryway from the parking lot, just to the right of that when you come in are the steps leading down to Good Shepherd Hall, our kitchen area, etc. Take your quick tour down there. So this is Good Shepherd Hall, a fellowship area downstairs. Those uh, wooden doors at the back are the entryway to the kitchen service. And we'll show you that in a second. Uh, over to the right, one of our Sunday school rooms, and there's a storage room beside that that has the quilter supplies, etc. in there. 
I'm on a, a little stage area that we can use to put on uh, programs, etc. And there's lights for that. And then the stairway up to the back of the sanctuary is right over in this corner. And then over on the other side are three more uh, Sunday school rooms with uh, lights out to the back uh, that faces uh, Monona Drive around the parking lot. And then I'll take you down here and there's the stairs right there to the um, Narthex and Fellowship area up outside the sanctuary. And then we're going to travel down that hallway where we have not only the kitchen, uh, but the adult learning center, the music room, and the youth room. And we'll show you those in a second. This is our kitchen area, um, industrial refrigerator on the other side with a freezer, two gas stoves. Uh, there's the service areas that we saw from the other side, a bar dishwasher, etc. This is the adult learning room, obviously not quite set up for use right now since it hasn't been used in eight months, but plenty of space and chairs. Uh, to hook up for our Sunday morning learning events, as well as other times when we have council meetings, etc. We meet down here, it's got its own storage area and then a, a little uh, refreshment area that we use as well. And again, windows facing to the back parking lot. And this is our music rehearsal room. So we've got the choir set up to go there with the Living Stones, the contemporary choir, and then the uh, traditional uh, chancel choir. We also have the table set up for the bell choir uh, when they rehearse down here. Um, and again, these windows face the same direction back to the back parking lot. We've got um, music storage on the end there. There's an en exit out to the parking lot and then storage for all our robes and other musical equipment. We've got electric piano, etc. back there. And then as we go back out into the hallway, there's a music director's office uh, right inside that door. This is our youth room. So we've got the requisite uh, comfortable furniture. There's a big storage room at the end there and then uh, an office for youth. And then uh, table and chairs, refrigerator. We've got an old jukebox next to the uh, gas fireplace pool table here and then uh, again a storage and entertainment area here for refreshments etc. Foosball table, it's a nice space for them. This is the parking lot side of the church, so that's the office complex right there. And then the main entrance where a couple of our parishioners are checking out live streaming. Uh, we're going to try to do that for our next outdoor worship service in the parking lot next week. You can see the spaces 8x8 eight eight marked off for each family. And we've got those, in fact, all the way along the parking lot here. Uh, we own this house next door and it's rented, so for future uh, green space for us and then just to share with you on this side that's where the sanctuary is and we also have gone back to having a, a columbarium or a burial site on, on site and this is also our memorial garden so there are bricks here 
that have the names in memory of people. Rose is still blooming, even though it's the end of October. And then we have a rain garden, so we funnel our rainwater here. And then if you continue, we have uh, both. There's a, a small um, water feature over here that comes through the rocks that is now shut off for the winter um, that provides some contemplative uh, sounds. A couple of benches here, and then we have the wall. We have the first section in, and you can see there are a few people already interred and space for uh, plenty more on the other wall. And then down below, you'll notice we have rocks, and each one of these is available too if you'd rather be in the ground. So we have interments here as well. One of our uh, charter member couples, the instrumental in the church. And then in the center, we have a common interment site where if you want to be buried together, uh, we dump the ashes in a communal site. So this is our memorial garden. Obviously, this uh, small camera tour of the inside and outside of the building doesn't quite do it justice, but uh, we wanted at least to give you a sense of, of place for where you would be serving. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it, and we look forward to uh, talking with you.